A little later in this week's program, we will be talking with economist Marshall Steinbaum about his project to map student debt. Where is it affecting families? Who is most affected by it? And so on. But there are a couple things that I think it's important for us to bear in mind about student debt as a moral challenge in the United States. One, college tuition on average in this country has increased 440 percent more almost four and a half times over the last 25 years wages for most people have actually declined over the same time period productivity has soared over the last 30 to 40 years but those increases in wealth are not being shared with the overall population they are going to the very few at the expense of the very many now that is a big difference from our boom years as a nation from the post-war era to about 30 years in those boom years uh, were a time when the wealth uh, of increased productivity was shared between the labor force and corporations and employers. So it is possible to share uh, the wealth in a way that benefits everyone. It is also possible to have a nation in which college is both affordable and accessible to qualified students. During that same era of the 40s, 50s, and 60s, for example, University of California had very low, uh, virtually no tuition fees. They had attendance fees, so-called. Uh, the State University of New York had very low fees. Other universities universities and colleges around the country had little to no tuition charges. So it is not only possible to envision a society where an education led to a better life, the middle class was growing, and college was affordable. It's not only possible to envision that society, it's possible to remember that society if you're old enough. However, today, college tuitions are soaring, College borrowers owe $1.3 trillion in student debt, and roughly one in every five young adults between the ages of 18 and 34 are living in poverty. Young people are less likely to start households, to get married, to buy homes, to buy cars, to do the things that not allow not only allow them to start their lives, but also help jumpstart the economy as well. So, folks, we have a student debt crisis that is also a broader economic crisis, and that I would argue is a moral crisis for us as a nation. 